Want to learn how to mod any version of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator to get googly eyes like this? Or like this? Well, welcome to Game Episodes, and in today's video, we are going to be learning how to make a googly eye mod to any version of Tabs. First thing you'll need is a program called DNSpy. There's a link in the description to Ivan Play's video on how to mod games with DNSpy. His video will show you how to download and run DNSpy for the first time. Feel free to check it out and come back to learn how to use DNSpy software for Tabs specifically. Okay, so I have DNSpy right here. I just searched dnspy.exe in my downloads after I've extracted all the files from the download folder. I'm going to open up this application. Now, if you have anything over here to the right, which is actually an older version of uh, the mod that I have done, all you need to do is do control A, select all and delete because you want this thing to be clear. So now you're going to need to find the game files for tabs in your Steam library. Uh, you can do this by going into Steam, going to your library, finding the game that you want to mod and right clicking that game. Look at the properties of the game and go to local files and then you can click browse all local files. Now, I'm not going to do this because I've actually created a copy of tabs that I can mod and mess around with without damaging the uh, vanilla file, the vanilla game. Let me use my file explorer to find that file. I'm going to go to my extra room for programs um, and I'm going to go to my Steam library. I'm going to go to Steam apps, common, scroll all the way down to totally accurate battle simulator YouTube. This is the one that I'm going to be modding. Go to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator Data, click Managed, and this assembly c .dll file is the one that you are going to be modding in DNSpy. So let me open up DNSpy, and I will click and drag the assembly c file into DNSpy, and I'm ready to mod it. So minimize this, and now we can look through the uh, DNSpy files. Let's make this full screen. So. You're going to click the drop down arrow in assembly C sharp, click the drop down arrow in assembly C sharp dot DLL. And you're going to want to look for this little hyphen. If you click the drop down arrow on this, this is going to have all sorts of code for all sorts of parts of the game. And we need to scroll down. It's alphabetical. So we need to scroll down to find googly eye, not googly eyes, googly eye. Click the drop down arrow if you like, but I'm going to right click on googly eye and I'm going to click edit class in C sharp. It decompiles it for me. And this is all of the behaviors for the googly eyes during the game. So we're going to scroll down here to the part where it says uh, what's going to happen. This is essentially the part that's going to say what's going to happen after it blinks. And it says if I state equals open, then turn open eye on. So the mod that I have is going to be pasted into the if I state equals googly eye dot I state dot open. It's going to be pasted into there, which is just below line 64. That's where it starts. You can find this in the description of my video. So I'm going to copy it. I have it in a Word document right now. I'm going to copy this, Control C, and I'm going to come right back down to the line right here, 66, where it says this dot open dot game object dot set active on hit enter. And I'm going to paste the mod right there. What this mod says is if the I state is open, then return this open I state with a transform and uh, an adjustment to the local scale to a new vector three. Vector three here is the important one that you want to check out. Vector three is going to control the size of your eyes. Notice that there's one, two, three components to this. That's the X component, Y component, and Z component to the eyes. If you want to change it, all you need to do is just throw a number in front of the F. So right now I have five as my scale, which means the eyes are going to be five times as big. So now that I have the mod in, I click compile. And then I click File, Save Module. Just click OK. This is going to save the mod to the version of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator that you are modding. And then run the game. Uh, for me to run the game, I need to go back to the Totally Accurate Battle Simulator YouTube folder. And I just need to run the application by double clicking. OK, the game loaded up yeah. just fine. <laughs> you can already see in the loading screen, some of the eyes are giant, times five size. Uh, let's go to the sandbox. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Any sandbox will work. And let's test out some units. So we could plop in... Uh, I like to check out the mammoths. The mammoths are very funny. Let's plop in a couple of mammoths. And there they are. Gigantic googly eyes for the mammoths. Notice the one mammoth on the right had some small eyes just until that moment right there. It's because they're not going to turn into giant eyes until they blink. 
So your mod only takes effect after they blink. I'm sure there's a way to make it so that they are already giant right off the get-go, um, but this is the easiest way that I was able to do it. So there you go, you've got some giant eyes on your mammoths. Let's try some other units. Let's take a look at the halflings, why not? They're gonna be pretty funny. And uh, another one that looks pretty good with the big eyes is the Minotaur. Let's zoom in on these guys. When they blink, their eyes will change. There they are, <laughs> giant Minotaur eyes. <laughs> giant halfling eyes they're, they're a little bit too big almost they look like one eye <laughs> and yeah of course the blinking action still is in the code so they're gonna blink and go back to that normal state uh, and then they're gonna when they open back up they turn into giant eyes again all right so there you have it that's the five times size let's see what happens if we make the eyes gigantic so I'm gonna exit the game And we're going to go back to our DN spine. We're going to change this code again. So I'm going to right click on googly eye. I'm going to edit class and I'm going to scroll down to the part of the code that I added with the vector three modifier. Um, and we're going to change the size of the eyes. If you want them to be huge, you know, go big. 125 times the size of a normal eye is going to be pretty darn big. We're going to check that out. Now, before we do, I just want to say one thing. If you wanted to change every eye state you could, you would just need to copy this part of the code and paste it underneath these lines. So line 75 for the blink eye, line um, 79 for the dead eye, and line 83 for the startle eye. Now that may change depending on which mod you have running for tabs. So uh, try to focus on the actual part of the code that you're gonna be entering your mod underneath. Um, and of course, if you do copy and paste this and it still says I state open, it's not going to work. So uh, if the I state is blink, then you want to change this current I state to blink and you want to change this blink dot transform dot local scale equals new vector three. Um, and that should work for all of the different I states. All right. So let's go ahead and check out our huge, gigantic eyes size 125. So we'll compile it. We will click file, save module, click OK. Now this is going to update our game automatically. We have to go back to our folder and we have to find uh, the version of tabs that we're currently using and open up the application. Game loaded up, so that should be good. Yeah! <laughs> and there you have it, gigantic, almost the size of the world eyeballs here in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Let's go to the sandbox and check this out. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, here's a hilarious battle. I love using the, uh, the healers in this version of the game here with the gigantic humongous eye mods because <laughs> well <laughs> the eyes basically blast the laser light from the uh the healer staff and try to heal the king units all right so i'm too far away for the blink action to take place so they haven't got the giant eyes yet but if i zoom in a little bit after i start the game the, the uh, giant eyes should start to appear and it's gonna look really funny so let's go take a look <laughs> there they are, giant king eyes and giant <laughs> healer eyes with the laser beams coming out of them. <laughs> there, that's just great. There you have it, a giant eye battle. Gigantic googly eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get a good freeze frame right here with the with the laser coming out of the eye. Oh, the game's over. <laughs> <laughs> there we go got my freeze frame okay so uh if you wanted to change the eye size to anything in the world you can you could change them to be even bigger than this i haven't tried that yet so if you want to do that go ahead feel free to do it post a youtube video share it with me you can also make the eyes way smaller it does accept decimal numbers like 0 0.5 you can use that to make the eyes tiny teeny tiny little beady eyes uh i just don't think that's quite as funny as having gigantic googly eyes in a battle like this uh, so that's going to do it for today's video. If you liked it, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button and leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of this totally accurate battle simulator mod. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.